Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a gravel perforated system uh, with some catch basins because you can see this hill behind me and this water has washed down this hill and it just floods across these yards. They've got a retaining wall and that helps stop some of the water. But you can see the erosion that's taking place over here. It's really bad. Downspout drains from the yards above actually come out in different sections here. And they've tried to slow the water down with some riprap, but wow, I've seen this when it floods and it really goes bad. So we're gonna start there at the end of his yard back there where that area is really eroded. Gravel perforated pipe, pull up this riprap. They've got a real nice uh, 18 by 18 storm drain. We're gonna tie it right into there. So the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to pull some, back some of this straw and then we're going to move some of that riprap, that stone, so that we can dig right through there. This retaining wall already has a great footer drain located at the bottom of the wall. There's no problem with the wall. In other words, there's no cracking or movement of the wall. However, when it rains hard, because the neighbors above, the subdivision above, all drains this direction. So the water just pours across and over the wall and runs down along behind the wall here on the top and discharges to that section I showed you already. So what we need to do is make an open French drain, a trench drain. And basically this is just, you know, gravel perforated pipe. We always add catch basins. That's very important. Pick up even more surface water and it'll discharge back into that 18 by 18 storm drain which leads out to the front. Give water a place to go and it will go there. It's really that easy. We're installing four large 12 by 12 catch basins and the water will drop into each basin. The riprap will use to use as a stop so as the water runs down this hill and down through this section it hits the riprap drops into the basin into the six inch perforated pipe and will be carried away around to the side of the wall. So you can see make pretty quick work. Two guys dig a little trench, straighten it up a little bit there, but put gravel base down, perforated pipe, more gravel. One, two, three. One more catch basin down here. Turn and go right into that basin. Okay, so you can see our six inch line comes out from around behind the retaining wall. We've got it all installed, catch basins, rip wrap, we're going to put back, moving some more soil. Now we're getting ready to lay some gravel down through the trench. But if you see the hill far, far back, that water comes down from the top of that hill, hits this wall, and has just run down through here and eroded this so bad. Got to do something. And the water does come here to this stone, but in a big storm, it just comes and floods, you know, all the way down through people's properties. So, really not a hard job, it's just hot out here. We're really just about ready to lay gravel. Looks like we might have enough soil up here to finish that up and grade it out. And then it's just gravel all the way down our trench and we're done. So we've got our rip wrap put back. See our six inch coming out alongside that four inch. Comes all the way up. Using the rip wrap as a stop because that water comes down this hill from way up there. Hopefully we'll hit our rocks, drop into the basins. But remember, this is all going to be gravel, so we basically have a giant drain that runs the length of the back of the prop. Finished covering comes out and discharges to the storm drain.
with Apple Brains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.